there, I'm Chef Rama. And I'm Chef Anita. And today we're making a delicious soup called a butternut squash, ginger, and coconut soup. We are gonna go ahead and use half of a butternut squash that we roasted, some coconut milk, onion, garlic and ginger, and some nutmeg and some broth. And we're gonna cook everything together and then blend it until creamy. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting up an onion. So we just need half an onion right now. And if you watched our videos, you know how to properly cut one up. So we're just gonna cut this in half and then peel it. By the way, I love to save. Absolutely, this is so good in the stock. The peels of the onion for our stocks. So and it's actually really healthy for you. Yeah, it is. It is, I mean, to make your own because then you can control your sodium as well. So we did a nice small dice of your onion or large dice, it doesn't really matter for this as such because it's all going to be blended. So this is perfect. And while Rama's doing that, I'm going to start peeling the apple. By the way, do you see how she is not using a cutting board and chopping in the air? This is the true generational difference of us coming together. <laughs> I can't believe it. every time I do that, Rama goes, you're chopping in the air? And I yeah. said, absolutely, you don't always need a cutting board. Okay, so once you uh, chop up the apple, you're going to go ahead and just make sure that you have your garlic and ginger ready. They're both minced. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and now saute this stuff up. Start with a pot and turn it on on a medium heat. We're going to add our coconut oil to it. And we're going to make sure that the coconut oil gets nice and soft. And I like to use coconut oil because we're using coconut milk, so it kind of reinforces both of those flavors. We're gonna add our onion. This smells amazing. Basically smells like beach right now, in my opinion. You're gonna add some salt while you cook the onions. So they get nice and soft, and it also helps with adding layers of flavor. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and add our ginger and garlic to this. Once we do that, we're going to add a pinch of our nutmeg in. It's always nice to hit your spices with some heat so they kind of wake up a little bit. So a little bit of nutmeg goes a long way. Okay, once our onions and ginger and garlic are nice and translucent, which they are, and shiny, you're gonna add your roasted butternut squash and apple. All in there together. You're gonna make sure that you mix everything really well and add a little bit of salt. So it's important to add a little salt every step of the way, just a little bit. And you can add a little bit of black pepper now as well. I give this a little bit of a mix and then you're gonna add your vegetable stock. And you're gonna add in your coconut milk. And now you're gonna let all the flavors come together and cook this for about 20 to 30 minutes. And once it's nice and cooked together, slightly cool, then you're gonna go ahead and blend it. Okay, now once the squash is cooked and with the coconut milk, all the flavors have come together really nicely. We're gonna take an immersion blender or you could take a, um, a tabletop blender as well and just blend it till smooth. Okay, this is beautiful. Now the squash uh, was cooked with all mm -hmm. the onions and the apples and we just blend it till smooth. It's perfect. It's gonna go ahead wow, and- how creamy it is this up right and it's just this is so comforting there's a couple ways to garnish um, what do you think mm -hmm. we add a little bit a little, of a little top of coconut yogurt or, or any, yogurt of your choice yeah yogurt of choice right right in the middle perfection beautiful and then we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some cilantro 
good oh stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Love it. It has that flavor of the butternut squash and the sweetness of the apple and the mm. coconut. Those are like yeah. three delicious flavors that come together. Really good. Yeah.